Hi there, welcome back to Classical Mechanics. We just saw that we need to do a good choice of coordinates to solve the problem we have. If the motion is two-dimensional circular, then polar coordinates have all the numbers to be the ones we want to consider. Now, let's think of the following. Consider a bead at rest at the top of a frictionless hoop of radius r. We move a tiny bit to bead, and this starts to move along the hoop. The acceleration of the bead will depend on its position, and it, in each position along the hoop it will not just be different in magnitude, but it will point in different directions also. Let's find those positions where the acceleration will only be vertical, if there are such positions. Looking up close the bead, the forces acting on it are its own weight and the normal force from the hoop. The first one is always vertical and the normal force is radial. Remember, in polar coordinates we decompose the analysis in radial and tangential. The bit is going to have, in general, a tangential acceleration and a radial acceleration. The tangential acceleration is g sine of theta. The radial acceleration will be the centripetal acceleration, v square over r, which is in conservation of energy. A sub r is 2gh over r. Because the height falling by the bit is r minus r cosine of theta, then a sub r is 2gr 1 minus cosine of theta over r equal to 2g 1 minus cosine of theta. Because we are looking at the total acceleration to be vertical, so the horizontal components of a sub r and a sub t have to cancel. From trigonometry, this implies that a t cosine theta is equal to a r sine theta. Let's do some wibbly wobbly math. We find that this happens for same theta 0 and for cosine theta 2 thirds. The first condition corresponds to the top and the bottom of the hoop. The second condition corresponds to theta equals to plus and minus 48.2 degrees. Now, for this point we have to calculate the vertical component of the acceleration. This is the sum of the vertical components of AR and AT. Let's write this down and do some more math. The vertical acceleration is just g, gravity. Did you expect this? Well, it makes sense. Because we have no horizontal acceleration, those horizontal forces cancel. Now, think about the horizontal forces on the bead. It's only the normal force right there. Well, the horizontal component of the normal force. But if there is no normal force, then there is only gravity at those points. Well, we've seen now a couple of examples of solving problems with polar coordinates. They compose the acceleration into radial and tangential, but there are other coordinates that might be useful depending on the symmetry of the problem. You need to 
Be ready to take this into account and use it. May the science be with you.